Abdullah Atif is a senior strategic advisor and racial equity specialist at the Campaign for the Fair Sentencing of Youth. In spite of being condemned to death by incarceration and without hope or expectation of ever being released, Abdullah, while incarcerated, studied legal jurisprudence and he ultimately matured into a leader that engineered respect from both inmates and prison administrators alike. Cynthia Alvarado is an abolitionist, activist, and agitator to end death by incarceration. She formerly served 12 years of a second degree murder life without parole sentence after being convicted of being an accomplice under the state's felony murder doctrine. She was released in 2020 after a judge found her conviction and sentence unconstitutional. Thank you, Cindy, Cindy and Abdullah for being here and, and Abdul Latif, I know you are being humble as always and not putting on here, but you, you did serve 36 years for a second degree uh, murder conviction for being a, a, a 17 year old accomplice. So that's something I de definitely want to center because I feel like that's very important for the conversation. But thank you too for, for being here, Abdullah. It seems like eons ago that you and I were in the library at SCI Green in Western Pennsylvania, strategizing on how we can overturn these unjust sentences. It's a pleasure to be out here now. Unjust sentences that we had as children, it's, it's a pleasure to be out here now strategizing about how we can overturn these sentences for all prisoners serving death by incarceration sentences. So thank you too. And thank you, Cindy, for joining us too. Um, I'm gonna ask you two a general question and then we'll move just into a more open format, but please share your experience serving a death by incarceration sentence. And now that you are no longer incarcerated in prison, what do you want people to know about th this harsh sentence? Who should go first? <laughs> Ladies first, uh, Cindy. Do you want me to go first? So, Ladies. so hi, hi everyone, and thank you for having me. I could say that serving a death by incarceration sentence was the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life. I felt as if my country just threw me away. I felt, I felt disgusting in the grounds. I felt like all the good that I did in life didn't matter. And I was surrounded by these gates and, and just people screaming. And all I could think about was just ending my freaking life. And, you know, it's a horrible sentence. That's why I'm here today. I was victorious in the courts, but I need people to understand that my victory doesn't happen very often. I was lucky and I understand that. And I, I'm here because I'm not the same person that I was 12 years ago. 12 years ago, I was a freaking addict you know, stemming from a car accident, but I was at a broken place and I'm a mature woman now. Everybody has dark days, but we all deserve a second chance. Thank you, Cindy. You're welcome.